Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hacker Tools. And this week we will be discussing ReEngine, an automatic reconnaissance framework. Now every bug bounty journey starts in the same way, reconnaissance. You need to scope out the application, you need to find out what is being hosted, what services are running, what ports are open, and so on. And that can be extremely time consuming, and when you have all that data, organizing all of it can also be a nightmare. But luckily, ReEngine can help us with all of that. So, what better way to show you how this works than to actually use it? I'm going to jump into ReEngine here and on the dashboard page you can see that it's currently quite empty. There's not, not much to see here. However, let's start off by adding a target under the Targets tab. Alright, from here we can add a target and I can say for example integrity.com. I will add that target and now uh, we see that we have it in the list here. I can now decide to do a quick scan or I can schedule a scan. Uh, scheduling a scan is saying, hey, I want to perform a scan on this target every day, every week. And that way you can make sure that when there is a new endpoint or there is some new data that you get a notification saying, hey, something changed here, you might wanna retest that. However, in this case, we are just gonna do a quick scan. So I will click on quick scan and now we have to select a scan engine. And an engine is kind of um, a uh, collection of things that is gonna happen. For example, you can do a full scan, and in that case you will do a subdomain discovery, you will take screenshots of every page, you will perform OSINT, a port scan, and so on. However, that will obviously take a little while, so for, the, for this video I will just do a subdomain only scan, which will just get all the subdomains. So, let's do that. And now on this next page, we have a very interesting choice here. We can choose to import some subdomains uh, that we already know of. For example, if you have some private tools that um, have the ability to find subdomains really well, well, use them and then import the subdomains here. But the most interesting part on this page is the out of scope subdomains. So not on every program, all the subdomains will be in, in scope and it's not good to hunt on subdomains that are out of scope. So therefore, if you are using this on a bug bounty target, I highly suggest you fill out the out of scope subdomains on this page so that those won't be scanned and you won't get in trouble or get the company in trouble. Now with that said, let's just start this scan. And you can see that we get redirected to the scan history page where a new scan has started. You can see that the status is that it is in progress. Looking a bit further, we can see that on this page uh, the scan has lasted for 10 seconds already and it's currently uh, scanning subdomains. Now this will take a hot minute, so let's cover some other features that this tool has to offer. First of all, we have uh, this to-do list, which is really nice. You can set specific tasks for a uh, specific scan, for a specific subdomain, uh, which is super nice. You can also do that on the uh, scan itself. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can add some notes of things that we have maybe noticed but didn't have time to look into yet. So to make sure that you uh, remember all of that, it will find all the IP addresses if you run the right scan. You can see all the discovered ports and the discovered technologies. Uh, which is always really nice. However, there are a lot more features. So you can scan IP addresses, um, I mean, you can scan ports, you can do so much stuff with this. And it's also very easy to um, customize. So under the settings page, page, you can choose to use a proxy, which is also really nice if you wanna look at what is happening. Uh, there are settings for the tools. So if you want uh, Nuclear, if you want to upload more templates uh, that you've written yourself, for example, you can upload them here, you can um, change the settings for SubFinder uh, and all the other tools that are being used, which is really, really nice. And after a second here, we will see that our subdomain scanning has concluded 
Uh, it's still doing some visual recon, uh, taking screenshots. However, let's already take a look at the results. So in the subdomain page here, we can see that we found the www subdomain, the blog subdomain, the swag subdomain, and so on. So we found all of these subdomains and um, under visualization, we can see all of them as well. Uh, these, uh, whether they're red or orange also signifies uh, what is happening there. Uh, clicking on one of these, you can go further into the visualization. So this visualization is really nice. However, obviously in this case, we didn't do uh, that much scanning. We only scanned for subdomains. But you can imagine that if you were to also do uh, directory brute forcing, that you would have a whole list of directories, then you could uh, use your nucleate templates to um, try to find vulnerabilities on all those endpoints. And if you were to find any vulnerabilities here under, under the vulnerabilities tab, you would have a whole list of them. Um, so that's also really, really nice. Now, moving on to these scheduled scans, I think that's where the real power of this tool comes into play. Uh, you can schedule a scan, you can say run every 30 uh, hours, days, whatever, do a periodic scan or a clocked scan. Um, then you can choose the engine that you want to use. So let's see what uh, re-engine recommends for us. So this is what it recommends. Uh, it doesn't recommend to do directory and file search because uh, yeah, that takes very long and is, is very intense. So it might not be the best to do. Uh, you can also import subdomains and so on. Uh, so let's select this, the recommended and okay. We will go ahead and now it will be um, scheduled to run in 30 hours. So that is really cool. Some last other features that are possible is to have notifications come out to your Discord or your Slack when something has happened. Uh, so yeah, this tool really is a framework that can do almost everything. It's so useful for organization, but also for just doing a bit of everything. And no, this will not most likely not get you some critical vulnerabilities, but this will give you an incredibly good base reconnaissance to work off. You will always have to do things manually to find the best bugs. However, having that reconnaissance phase done for you for the most part is already a very nice addition to your workflow. So yeah, let us know what you'll think of this tool in the comments down below. If you like this video, well, like it, uh, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you back for another video next week. Take care, guys.